In this video, we're going to be replacing the back bumper of this 1968 Javelin, which obviously needs replated. So we'll be showing you how to do that. Now some promos are very simple. They just have screws in the front, and you just simply unscrew it, making sure to let it work its way out. Don't push against it. You don't want to damage anything. But you'll find that a lot of promos don't have these. What you're going to find instead are these push pins. A lot of them come with these silver push-in pins. What I do for these is I will just gently work underneath it with a thin jeweler screwdriver until I get a little bit of gap between that and the chassis. If you cannot move this at all, it may be a screw type. And you don't want to force it. But you see this one is popping out. Once I have it slightly removed, I'll usually take a pair of vice grips and just slightly make a little indentation on the pin with the vice grips and wiggle it out. Take your time and be careful you're not in a big hurry. And there's the pin. When you go to reinsert it, just push it back in. There you go. And you notice the little marks in the side are barely noticeable. It just goes back in, it lines up, and you just push it in very gently. If you feel you need to glue it, do not glue it with regular glue. I would suggest RTV or something that you will be able to remove in the future. Nine times out of ten, you will not need to glue it. It should just pressure fit. And now some models don't have anything in the back. And they'll have the pins up front. What this means is the back fits into a slot. So when you remove it, you want to pull the front down easily and just pull it forward and you see the slots in the rear will line up with the slots on the body. Now before you go to remove the bumper you want to check the corners up here where the tail lights are installed. Sometimes the tail light pins are pushed through the body of the car and they're heat seated to here and you go to push the bumper out you'll damage it. These are not but a lot of times they are so in this case the bumper will just come right off now the pins through here haven't been heat treated on the specific bumper so they should just push right out you want to do this carefully because you don't want notice I'm just using my thumbnail to apply very little pressure because I don't want to break the tail light assembly And now the bumper is ready for replating. You may also find it necessary to trim these tabs a little bit if it's been heated. But otherwise we will check the printing on the tail light to make sure we put it in properly and reinsert it into the replated bumper. And just gently push it just doing exactly the way they did. If you notice it's pressure fit, so there's no need to glue it. And then we will just reverse the assembly here. There's no need to glue this either. Remember when they built these, they didn't use any glue. If anything, they used the heat gun. Reinsert that back in. And then we just simply reverse the assembly. So the tabs will go, without my hand being in the way hopefully, the tabs will go back into the body of the car hold the bumper so that it all fits as a piece pull the front down snap the front into place and then we'll put the pins back in the front of course if this was a screw type you'd screw the screws back in but these newer ones are the pins so we'll just insert them back into the body 
press them down tight and there you go it looks much better with the redone bumper so hopefully that gave you a little bit of a clue there are some types I've seen without a head that is actual screw type and for that when you grab it with the vice grips you're going to want to unscrew it counterclockwise you'll know that when you go to use the screwdriver and it won't pull up right so I hope this helped you guys see you later bye